Marty Reed and Mike Galloway with you at the Budweiser U.S. Hot Rod Truck Pull Championships. Modified tractors here at the Silver Dome in Pontiac, Michigan. And does anybody need a light? Because Gary Mills is about ready to light up this crowd. I think that may be a Bud Light. <laughs> One to go is the name of the tractor from Falston, Maryland. A T64 GE, and watch this thing breathe some fire. Turbine motor, and it's a little bit bigger than uh, a lot of the turbines that we see in competition. There's a little shot of fire right at the end of it. Gary will turn the wick up. Now Gary's underway, leaning a little to the left, bringing it back right. Well, he's all over the track, but getting close to that full pull line, he will not quite make it. It's going to be very, very, very close as he cleans the motor out a little bit for that full pull distance. Good hook. I mean, absolutely a picture-perfect hook for Gary Mills. We're going to see some people take that sled out of this place as fast as you've ever seen it tonight. Well, here's the distance for Gary Mills and Mike. You can't get any closer without going all the way out. 179 and 11 inches. No, Marty. They measured to a quarter of an inch, so uh, he could have got within another, you know, three-quarters of an inch. He could have sneezed a little bit. Well, coming up now is Charlie Wilcox with Plum Nasty. And earlier, Mike found something interesting about this vehicle. One of the most exciting things about truck and tractor pulling is that you can go into competition with anything you've got as long as it's safe. We've seen several engines that are supercharged on one tractor. But tonight, we've got a tractor with three naturally aspirated engines, much like the ones you'd have in your car that you drive down the street. This may be the setup tonight. We'll take a look. Underway as we're back to the action here in Modified Tractors. And Charlie Wilcox got all those motors cranking, but boy, he is going to fall far short. Well, you know, as we talked about it earlier, it's your choice in pulling. Maybe it's your pocketbook's choice. Well, here's the distance for Charlie Wilcox and Plum Nasty. 131 feet, three and a half inches. And there's Dave Banner, little nod of the head to the crew saying, hey, I'm ready. But he's got two motors left off of it for this 7,200 pound class. He can run six. Said that he can build one at home that can take seven or eight. I'd ask you a question here, but I have a feeling once he starts, we're not going to be able to hear each other. So, Marty, that's the way you do it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, brought the crowd to its feet. Dave Banter, that definitely out the door for a full pull and then some. Wait till you see this on replay because you're going to see how much horsepower this man's got. He leaves with it, cracks the throttle a couple of times trying to get the tires to set up, and then hammers it. Look at him, just ripping the throttles a little bit. Into it. Now we're going to take it and run with it. And when it does, this thing hooks up. Mr. Chevy is headed to the door with the Banner Brothers all over it. It's a beautiful job. And I tell you what, we're going to see some more full balls before this night's over. It's just great, the action that's coming out of that tractor. So Dave Banner, Mr. Chevy, a full pull. First one of the night in the modified tractors. The cost of new homes... Blur ...with Mission Impossible and five, count them, five Chevrolet 500 cubic inch engines on board. And earlier, Mike Galloway had a chance to talk to Tim. Thanks, Marty. Tim Engler, tell us a little bit about Mission Impossible. You've got the motors put everywhere. Well, that's true, Mike. I tell you what, actually, the tractor... The way we're going to run tonight is set up with five engines on it. We're going to be running a 7,200-pound modified class, and we do something a little bit different. We run our engines crossways. Basically, that's by using a 90-degree transfer-type gearbox that transfers the power from the engine sitting sideways back to a straight shaft that goes back toward the rear end of the tractor. We do have one engine sitting up on top that's running down through a 90-degree or a vertical box that actually transfers the power back to the bottom shaft to mate up with the 90 degree gear boxes. From that point, then everything goes through one shaft to a pinion in the rear end. But we do kind of like to be known for doing things different and uh, we're looking forward to tonight. You think you lose any power by going through the 90 degree boxes? We lose less power going through the 90 degree gear box because it's uh, 
a, a spiral bevel type gear and there's only two gears involved. Where a more common gear boxes such as a wide cross box has like say five or six or seven gears. Every time you have more gears, it takes more horsepower to pull out. Hey, Marty, how'd you like to buy fuel for those? I'd hate to be the mechanic who has to tune them. How do you keep five of these things in tune? Well, run in and get you a set of plugs. <laughs> oh, give me 40. I'd have tennis elbow from taking them in and pulling them out. Look at him. He's all on the right-hand side. This track is pulling these guys to the left. He's going to the right to compensate. What a run! <laughs> Unbelievable! My heavens, this was a walk in the park for that man. Tim Angler waved to the crowd and absolutely no trouble whatsoever. Look at them, they're still breathing easily. I'm All five of them. I'm not sure that Tim Angler ever thought that the weight was on him. I mean, <laughs> he knew it was there, but it didn't load the tractors. It didn't make them labor. He just went on with it. Watch him. Trip. What? Look at this. Look at this hand. Yeah. He's feeling of it. Now it's good. That's when all of the motors come to life. The tire speed jumps up around 100 miles an hour. Look at this monster coming down the track at you, patting the dragon and the dirt. Marty, it looks like some kind of earth-moving equipment, and that's what it is, kicking the dirt up behind him. He shuts out of it, and look how far this thing slides before it ever comes to a stop. You know what uh, may be appropriately named Mission Impossible. It could be impossible for anybody else to beat him tonight if he has that kind of power in the pull-off. Isn't it great? How busy is that full pull, that pull-off going to get tonight? <laughs> well, we've got two turbines on this one. Two GE Green Monster turbines. Art Arfons from Akron, and boy, I'll tell you, anybody who follows motorsports knows that this is one of the living legends. And that is no small phrase tossed around when you're talking about this gentleman. He has done it all. 63 years young. And absolutely would run you and me both into the ground, and no matter what we do. <laughs> yeah, he'd hurt you all right, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I tell you, he is, he has got a lot of energy, a lot of driving, a heck of a lot of talent behind that wheel. You know, but, what is amazing is this man's capability. What he does with his mind and his hands and his tools and just building this tractor let alone you know thinking it up and putting it together making a dream a reality is unbelievable but well, when he lights these turbines up get ready the crowd here will be a big ooh ah and all the flash bulbs will be going crazy Brings the boost up. Now, this is the, Marty, this is so critical. RPM have to be up to maximum power. What would happen if he miscalculated? The motors will shut down. The, the power will come off of them. This is pr probably the only reason they were never produced as a mass production uh, gasoline motor. Now, we've seen this before. The left motor's lit. I don't think the right motor ever fired. The right motor may have never fired. Arfon's in the air. He's got ground speed. Yes, it is lit. He's going to go out. Arfons brings the crowd to their feet. They better go back and uh, in the pull-off add, oh, probably another 10,000 pounds to stop these people tonight. There'll be more modified tractor action here at the Budweiser U.S. Hot Rod Truck Pull Championships right after this.